Back out here on the range today, 100 yard range here at the homestead. We're going to test out my CZ457 and my Ruger 1022. And what we're looking at is different ammo, what reaction that ammo has on different medium, water, clay block, and some canned dog food. All right, we got the CZ on the table. We've got five water jugs, one gallon of water jugs down range. We've got one of the suppressor 970, 45 grain. We're gonna shoot one at the water jugs and then go check it out. Gun is safe. Let's go down range to check it out. All right, here we got the water jugs. The first one fell over, but it has a hole straight through it. Second one, hole straight through it. A little bit bigger of an opening on the back of that one. Third one, third one, only has one hole, so let's open it up and see if our bullet's inside. So again, this is the 970, the 970 suppressor ammo. I see the bullet, and there it is. It did not expand at all. It did not expand at all. It's mangled pretty good, but the hollow point did not expand in water at 50 yards. All right, CCI 40 grain, hollow point, probably 1050. Let's see how this one does. safe let's go check it out all right this is from the 40 grain we've got it. pass through of the first jug pass through of the second jug looks like a pass through of the third jug pass through of the fourth jug and we did not recover the round oh maybe we did let's open it up Looks like it passed through, but it may have just impacted. I can see the bullet. Again, no expansion whatsoever. It's deformed a bit. But this was the 1050, 40 grain hollow point. No expansion at 50 yards on water. All right, CCI segmented hollow point, 40 grain, 1050. Five one gallon water jugs. seemed way more energetic than the other two. Let's go down and take a look. All right, this is the segmented hollow point. First jug, we had a big impact. I'm seeing, I believe there are two, I believe there are two pedals in this jug. The second jug has a split, but I don't see anything inside of it. Let's open this first one and take a look. There was a lot more energy in this first jug than the other two rounds.
yeah, I see two, two pedals. Two pedals from that segmented round. So it split into three. The third one went through and sliced the second jug and carried on. So that round did what it said it was supposed to do at 50 yards. I'm wondering if I should try this one at 100. I think we'll do that next. All right, we're gonna do that segmented hollow point, except now we're gonna be at like 105 yards. And let's see how that looks on camera. Looks like a good hit. Let's go check it out. Well, I was just inspecting this. And you can see on the back side, there's three exits. On the front side, one impact. So the projectiles went all the way through at 100 yards. All right, we got three rounds in the gun. We got three canned foods down there. We're going to start off with the suppressed round, 45 grain, 970 on the left. The center will be the uh, subsonic. 40 grain traveling 1050 and the, the canned food on the right will be the segmented hollow point that's a 40 grain going 1050. Now we have the subsonic Hollow point, 40 grain, going 10.50. And last, we have the 40 grain, 10.50 segmented hollow point. Again, supersonic crack out of the uh, segmented hollow point. It's right on the cusp with this gun to breaking the sound barrier. All right, this is the suppressed ammo. 970, 45 grain. There's an impact right there. And straight out the back. This is the 40 grain, 1050. It's a hollow point. Bigger impact or bigger exit wound than the suppressed ammo. It's traveling a little faster, so you'd expect that. Last, we have the segmented hollow point, center impact, and complete devastation out the back. That segmented hollow point broke the sound barrier though. It went supersonic. My gun, even with the suppressor, that ammo is right on the edge of breaking the sound barrier. So I get about 25%, 25% of the round shot, break the sound barrier. Someplace like this, it's not a huge deal. In areas where I've hunted uh, varmints, small game, the round doing its job is less important than being quiet. So take it as you will. I, in certain areas, would rather have the suppressed ammo, have the bullet not completely do its job, but stay quiet. The 1050 segmented hollow point is a great round. Um, but in this area, it breaks the sound barrier occasionally. And... All right, as you can see, I got the clay all over me, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot the clay downrange. We're gonna start off with the, again, with the suppressed ammo, 970, 45 grain, out of the 1022.
good hit. Let's go check it out. I see your impact on the front. Come around to the back. Looks like it went all the way through. Let me cut this thing in half and we'll inspect the, uh, the insides. Again, this is the first time I've ever done this, so let's see how it goes. All right, we have the inside here. Again, this was the, the uh, suppressed ammo, 970. It's got about, I don't know, inch and a half wound channel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pack this back together into a block and then we'll shoot the subsonic hollow point next. All right, subsonic hollow point, traveling 1050, 40 grain, clay block. Good hit. Let's go check it out. We've got our entry wound. Exit wound looks bigger than the uh, suppressed ammo. All right. We have a little bit bigger wound channel than the uh, suppressed ammo. It's a little bit bigger just inside of where I cut, just inside. This is the uh, the uh, the impact side. This is the exit side, and I'm seeing just just inside where my finger is. There's the impact made a little bit bigger wound channel. All right, this is working out pretty well. My hands are getting all nasty, but uh, this clay seems to work well. What we'll do now is we'll fix this up and we'll do the. Uh, the CCI segmented hollow point on this same block and see what we get. 40 grain segmented 1050 segmented hollow point at the clay block. Go check it out. All right, this is the segmented round, 40 grain, 1050. There's the impact. And looks like we have one exit from one of the pedals. I don't see an exit from uh, anything else. Let's cut it open and see what we see. All right. Okay, I see one of the pedals right here. There is a ton of bugs out today. Definitely spring. So we got one of the pedals there. You can see it's got three distinct wound cavities. And look at, look at how big that cavity is. That is uh, much, much larger than the other two. So, again, that's the impact entrance hole. This is the wound cavity here. And then we have three distinct offshoots from the pedals splitting apart. Pretty cool stuff. I like to see it in the clay. That The clay is a, a good, seems to be a good medium to uh, be able to reuse rather than the water jugs and the, and the uh, canned food.